Today we're going to look at the Atom, a big, big, big deal with a small board and a small price. We're going to build you a desktop computer for under $150. This is going to be an actual bundle that you can buy on our site. You go ahead, you pick it up, and you can build this entire system uh, with what's provided for under $150. Now, it's not going to be a super powerhouse. You're not going to be playing Crisis on it. But what it is going to do is going to do all your net-based stuff. That you're going to do. Uh, you can do your Google Docs, your Gmail. You can surf the web. You can burn CDs. You can even run iTunes, which will let you uh, rent stuff so this will be a great media center we're gonna do it all for 150 bucks and I'm gonna show you how to put it together as well real quick I'll go over what comes in the bundle you're gonna start off with this case and power supply very simple very easy you're gonna get an 80 gig hard drive not a big deal but very nice it's gonna be SATA so it will uh, it will go ahead and work very quickly we're gonna load up Windows XP on here you're gonna stick a crucial RAM and you're gonna get the Atom so the Atom is what they've been using in the uh, the netbooks those are all so very popular right now everyone's got a netbook you go to Starbucks and the the EEPC, -E everyone's typing away on the little mini keyboard. I type better with one hand on that thing, it's so small. But this is what they use inside of there, so we're gonna put it in here, because it will do all that stuff. It will run Firefox, it'll run all your uh, web-based applications, so it's really, really cool. Let me go, uh, go ahead and start showing you how we're gonna put this thing together, and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. All right, so I'm gonna build it on the camera, but they're gonna speed it up for some of the parts that are kind of boring. So I'm gonna start by mounting the motherboard into the case. Now on the on the Atom, when you see this thing, it actually comes up pre-mounted. The, the processor's on there, you don't need to get thermal grease, you don't need to do anything, it's already just pretty much set up. You get come put the risers in, install the motherboard, and, and then you're good to go. I'll show you how, I'll show myself putting the input panel, input output panel on, uh, and I'll, I'll insert the RAM and do all that stuff, you'll get to see that, so hang tight. Eighty gigs, say to hard drive, say to two, power, very simple. We're gonna go ahead and screw it into the top A here. All right, so check this out. To help cable management and make it a little simpler, make it look a little neater in the case, I'm gonna mount the hard drive backwards. So instead of the interface is facing back, since my cable is actually kind of long, I'm gonna face this way going forward so that it stretches the cable out all the way and there's less to hide behind the motherboard tray. And that way it keeps everything looking really nice. It's kind of one of those little things you do here and there to make things look a little better. So I'm gonna mount the SATA cable first and then put it in backwards, so check it out. All right, so I got a regular little uh, 80 gig SATA hard drive here. I'm gonna go ahead and install that. Uh, it's, you know, this is not actually gonna have tools, bays or anything, but it's very simple. It's two screws on each side. No big deal. Watch me do it in super fast mode. Here comes the hard part. This is your color coded power connector diagram. So you're gonna have to match up all the little numbers for audio and all your front panel connectors for your speaker, your LED lights, and your power and your reset on the board. Luckily, unless you're a, a monkey, you'll be fine. All I gotta do is match colors and it's very simple. All right, so. Let me go ahead and show you where everything plugged in. I'm gonna take a second after this to go ahead and do the cable manager, make it nice and pretty. But Randy, go ahead and zoom in right here. 
All right, you look, you have your hard drives connected, your, your, your four point Molex, your SATA. I rounded it through the front and then out the back to keep the cables nice and tidy. I'll clean that up in a second though. Uh, this, I'm gonna have to get rid of all that, but you got your SATA connected right here into the SATA header. Uh, all your power front panel connectors are right here. And then over here, your, your USB and your audio are plugged in. So everything pretty much here is ready to go. This thing should boot if I press the button now. So I'm probably gonna embarrass myself because it's not gonna turn on, but let's find out if it does. Zoom in there, see if you can see the fan. I'm gonna turn it on. Oh, we need power. <laughs> that was gonna be embarrassing. No power cable. Well, let me go ahead over here and plug it in. And let's see if it boots. Yay! Problem solved. That's awesome. All right, so as you can see, I did some quick cable management in here. Uh, just pretty much zip tied everything up, tried to hide it as best I could. Uh, didn't, you know, didn't want to spend too much time. Uh, so we're pretty good now. There's not much else to do. All I got to do is go ahead and uh, load the operating system. It's ready to go. Uh, you put a DVD-ROM in here. You load your OS, Windows, Linux. You can put Ubuntu on here for free. Uh, you can probably find uh, Windows 2000 for free. I mean, you can put whatever on here. It's just got to run iTunes. It's got to run a couple little programs. You're going to use it as an email machine. It's going to run Firefox. Uh, you know, you're going to run uh, maybe iTunes or some sort of media platform off of it to put an extra your computer but again very simple very easy very cheap you can buy this bundle right off the website all the parts are picked out you can put it in a smaller case actually next week I'll show you how to put it into a Nintendo with wireless controllers the purpose of that is to get every emulator known to man every ROM for every emulator I mean I'm talking about Sega Genesis Genesis Atari Nintendo Super NES GameCube all of them I'm gonna put all of them onto one system with wireless uh, Logitech rumble pads and we're gonna play video games with them in a little NES so that'll be very cool check that out that'll probably be coming in a week or so uh, but for now this thing is pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and load the operating system on it. I'll be right back. All right, so we got the operating system loaded on here, booted up fine, no problem. This is a very simple computer. In the end, it's going to be a very cost-effective way to get a web-based computing, kind of like a uh, triple EPC, except for home. Uh, very affordable. It will run all your web apps. We'll run Google Docs and Firefox and your email. All that great stuff will run here. You can put iTunes. And at $149, I guarantee you there's nothing that you're going to get that's going to be cheaper or faster uh, or funner to use or easier to build. Now, for the people that are not going to buy this bundle in particular and are going to end up getting you know, a really small case, but they're still going to get the Atom, Take a look at this little device. This is really cool. This is a compact flash to IDE adapter. They also have a compact flash to SATA adapter. And that lets you load your boot drive onto this SATA drive. Now, you might ask, where am I going to stick all my media and all my ROMs and emulators and all that good stuff? I'll tell you what, it's super simple to send up a little network. You get a uh, NDRAF wireless USB card. You stick it on the back of things. Those things go for like 30 bucks nowadays. They're dirt cheap. They're making them in China by the, the ton, by the loads. Uh, and you know, it, it makes everything go really fast, really simple, and most importantly, it's very small. So you can fit it in that small case along with the rest of the stuff that you're gonna be using. So, in the end, if you have any questions on all this stuff, like always, you can always email me. I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Intel Mini ITX Barebone Kit, go to compusa.com and type in i69-2170A, or you can call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week at one 800 compusa seven days a week at one 800 compusa Oh, 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 oh,